Okay, so Friday, uh, March 20th, we're going to be working on uh, equations of a line given two points graphically. So we're going to do this by hand later, but let's we'll start off with something that's a little bit easier. We're going to do this on the graph. So they give you two points, and we're going to go ahead and click them. So three, negative four. So we're going to go over three and down four, drop our point. And then over three and down one, drop your second point, and look what we got. We got a vertical line. It looks like our x coordinate didn't change in either point. And every point on that line will have the same coordinate, x equals three, three comma something, whatever. It only goes through the x axis, never touches the y. That's why there's only one variable in the equation, and it's only x. Okay. So you can see we got that one and we're on to the next problem. Okay, now we have an x-intercept. <clears throat> That's negative three, zero, and then negative six, five. Now, if we just were given two points on a piece of paper, we'd calculate the slope, then plug them into y equals mx plus b to see which one, or to see what the y-intercept is, but we're gonna be able to see that on the graph. So negative three, zero is our first point, and negative six, five, is the next point. Okay, now let's see. Uh, we drop one, two, three, four, five, and run one, two, three. So we have a slope of negative five thirds. Negative five over three. Okay, now we go through the y axis and it looks like about negative five. So slope intercept form, y equals negative 5 thirds x minus 5. And that's our answer. <clears throat> Let's try another problem. Do a couple of these. Let's see. Uh, again, we've got 6 comma 9. That's going to be way up here. And we've got 1, negative 1. This looks like a steep sloping line here. Um, it looks like we're going up one over two, uh, excuse me, up two over one, up two over one, up two over one, up two over one, up two over one. So that to me looks like we've got a slope of two. Y equals positive two X. And it looks like we run through the Y axis at negative three. Okay, we'll do one or two more. But I think you guys probably already know where this is going. So let's see, six comma five, go over six, up five, plot my point. Uh, go over eight, up one, two, three, four, plot my second point. That's definitely a negative sloping line. It looks like we drop two, or excuse me, drop one when we run two. So that's gonna be a slope of negative one half. Let me just go up top a little bit so I can see the wires up. All right, uh, y equals negative one half x. In this case, we have a positive y intercept at eight. Looks good. And that is your delta math assignment.